Tonight, it's Game 5 of the Campbell Conference Championship from the Olympic Saddle Dome in Calgary. You'll see all the action live next on Sports Channel. That means Alain Chevrier will get the call again tonight. It's a 2.53 goals against average in the playoffs. has been brilliant, but lost in overtime in Game 4. Mike Vernon with... Three shutouts in the playoffs this year, and in this series, the goals against of 1.65, holding Chicago to just seven goals on 92 shots. Harry Fraser talking to Newman Dyke and Dirk Graham. Graham, the captain of the Blackhawks, I'm sure all he's doing, Herb, is just saying that he wants both teams to stick to hockey. Both runs after the whistle. Let's have a good game. It's like a referee in a title match, I guess, in a heavyweight bout, huh? Note there from Alain Chevrier. He's faced 118 shots fired in the night, and like you said, Blackhawks with nothing to lose because they weren't even supposed to be here to begin with. But it's because of his goaltending that they're here. An overtime goal granted in the 80th game of the regular season. Assured them of a playoff spot. And they beat Detroit. And they beat St. Louis. And Chevrier beat Tim Hunter on that opportunity. I think Tim Hunter beat Tim Hunter on that one, Jake. I may respectfully say Timmy just was and it's a wide open net there. I think he said, what am I going to do with this baby? That's a chance, all right. He couldn't get the puck up over the goalkeeper. Now Mattress from the Calgary defense. Long pass to Roberts. Open on the left side. Chevrier the save, and he reaches back to cover it. Well, you can't ask for anything more for a goalkeeper. He gets out. He's standing up good. He's cutting down the angles, and he was able to control his rebound. Mike Glute back in our studio say that's the three key things. Stand up, cut the angles down, control your rebound, and you've done everything from that point on. And here's again. Let's just look at Chevrier out there. That thing was a pretty good shot. Chevrier was able to get that left pad on it and then reach back for his, his uh, rebound. Gary Roberts, who can shoot a puck. More of a defensive type of forward is side of his NHL career, but is evolving into a, a pretty good goal scorer, really developing in a good, well-rounded hockey player. And I tell you, he had good one on that. He was... That was an unobstructed shot, and it was a tough one for Chevrier. Maybe Roberts could have got in a couple of more strides to her. Yeah, good point, Jake. Actually, maybe he should have kept on coming. Exactly. Now the Flames at center with Lou putting it in the Chicago zone, and Bob Murray moves it out to Dwayne Sutter. Into the case of Hudson, who gets over the line, trying to feed Gilbert, who's knocked down, and Vernon comes out to cover the puck before Bob Murray got there. Jake, earlier you talked about, uh, in addition to this lineup, Danny Vincelet, number 20, a big guy, six-footer, 200-pounder. But again, he is more known for his physical play. But if that's what he's in there, they're sending some other people out, Mike, uh, Brian Noonan. But again, Chicago can't play a real big, a real big physical game against Calgary. They're going to win that battle. Cal for Chicago to win this game, they've got to win the race to the red line. They've got to have a lot of quickness. Pretty good rush here. Pretty good opportunity as they spotted Gilbert. But right at the Calgary defenseman coming back. Here's Al McGinnis, number two. Who's had a point in ten consecutive games. Oh, and up from behind. Turns to see who that was. It was number 43, Mike Hudson. They said, I'll, get, I'll just get his number and worry about that later. Now following the draw, Burson clears it out for Calgary. Every A out of the net. Backhanded it to Manson. He turned it over to Lou. Centers one and touch two and that's four. Second goal in the playoffs at even strength for Newendike is eighth overall. And we've got a fight out of the center ice area. That's Brian McClellan of the Calgary Flames and Dwayne Sutter of the Chicago Blackhawks. 
Herb has maintained all along that Brian McClellan is one hockey player that you don't want to arouse. Kind of a sleeping giant, but he and Wayne Sutter get involved here. His shot is blocked. Here's an opportunity for Dirk Brown. Brandon makes the save. All against Flurry. Watch it right here. Oh. He tries to lift Flurry's stick up. Misses his stick. Mullen, he gets it back again. Looking in front for Otto. Otto. Put him Brown. Brown in for Thomas. Thomas into the corner. Hudson Simmons and he scores! And you gotta watch where McClellan comes from. He's the left winger. Nobody takes him. Steve Conroy is too soft on The Flames would find their way to the Stanley Cup Finals after Game 5, thanks to two goals from Joe Newendike. Moving up with it is Newendike over the line, coming in on goal. He shoots, he scores! This could be the one that does it. Joey Newendike opened the scoring tonight. For the second time in their history, the Flames were champions of the Campbell Conference, but a greater challenge still lay ahead. Lanny McDonald and Tim Hunter. Now I've got a feeling you'd like to meet Montreal in the final. Another uh, Montreal final.